Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, did we start? Yeah, we're rolling. Oh, oh we're, we're actually rolling. rolling. Oh, yeah, shit. you can just uh, cut uh, all this out if you want. I mean, no, nah, we'll probably fucking keep it. I didn't realize this. We got everything. Yeah, we do no edits on Coward Hour. It's a very unprofessional podcast. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Edits. Uh, do you have a producer? That like no. uploads your stuff, so you guys just no, do we it. just do it. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, why would you ever edit it? I, I wish. Just... Sometimes I wish that we would. This <laughs> <laughs> is extra work. Like I, when I first started mine, I was like, oh, we got to edit out all the ums or any dead air, and no. I'm like, I'm not spending two hours editing a podcast of two guys just talking yeah, exactly. About nothing. Like, People want the ums and the likes, dude. People love the ums. They and love them. them. We're saying um. We're saying <laughs> we're like. Saying, we're, we're gonna be saying like again. That I can tell you. Yeah. About that. Also, it like puts you into this weird like YouTube video mode when you're listening yeah. to it. If you like listen to like cut up all no filler words, no likes or anything, or like a breath, it's like <laughs> yeah. yeah so like, I was this doesn't it, it, sound it, natural, and it puts you out of it. Yeah, yeah. and we're just three natural guys. We're just three natty bros. People dude. People want the yeah. hang, dude. They want the, they want they want, want the, the messiness, chill. dude. Yeah, exactly. They they're want like all the rough edges. They're like, what are like the white straight males up to? You know exactly. what I mean? People aren't asking us anymore. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Are they hanging out in person right now? What? Yes. Yeah, no. We got masks on. We're in separate rooms, actually. Right. We set yeah. up cameras. We have cubicles. <laughs> we, <around. laughs> yep. Quarantine we're, cubicles. We're broadcasting live from the CDC, everybody. Brendan's not here, so I'm coming out as a full COVID truther, dude. Let's do it. Let's rope you guys into it. There's no way it can be real. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's definitely fake. It's definitely No, it's for sure. No, it's definitely real. Yeah. yeah. All right. I was feeling that out. You guys said no. <laughs> that, was, that was a red light. I thought that we was, uh, I, th- I was going along with the coward hour consent. Census, so that it's real yeah i think so yeah we yeah we're, we're pretty i mean i don't know man it changes but you can't ask me what i think of something <laughs> <laughs> hey I'm, there's too much if you say it. something i'm gonna agree with you i just so i just feel like you're tempting fate so bad i'm like you're definitely gonna get it if you keep talking like you're that right, and if right. you have it then i'm gonna get it yeah, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get drive by copet essentially you're right. yeah, you're, yeah. I, don't, I don't put stock in science but i definitely put stock in like bad vibes i'm like <laughs> Oh, geez, like bad vibes are at all time high. <laughs> Please don't travel with bad vibes. <laughs> no, I've been extremely good vibes through this whole thing. Okay, That's yeah, good. you got to stay positive. positive vibes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like, dude, it's a pandemic. I'm like, whatever, yeah. dude. It's fun in the sun. I'm on a plane. I'm flying in the Chicago. Sun. Hey, Trump says the sun kills it within seconds. And I'm always in the sun, and I'm always eating potatoes. Scott Adams, creator of Dilbert, can't be a dumb guy. Mm-hmm. Scott Adams said, <laughs> vitamin D. If you have a lot of vitamin D, it stops COVID from like bonding to. What whatever it bonds to in your bad body. vibes, bad vibes, bad vibes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bad, yeah, the nega energy. You have to keep whoa, like whoa, what? Okay. what did you say? I know we're having a lot of fun with whoa. this Trump character, but good god, <laughs> I get hit with that on Carrot Hour too. I always, I constantly <laughs> want to refer to things uh, in terms of in terms of like their nega energy, but people are like what? What did you say? Yeah, I think it's that Baltimore accent. Ooh, it's yeah. Baltimore dude. So I mean, we're technically <laughs> allowed there, to say Wolf it. Farms and there's a lot of <laughs> down there. They're blasting that classical music outside to try to keep the homeless people from fighting. You know what I'm talking about with that type of energy? Yeah, I don't like. It. I like. I my- mean, you know, you take you take a wrong turn, you walk into a bad part of town. There's a bunch of dark links hanging around. A bunch of nega links. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> no. All the Trump pick up on his vibes. <laughs> no thanks. No thank you. I don't know if a Super Smash Brothers reference will be lost on our audience or not, but I think it'll be. I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. What was I gonna? I, oh yeah, yeah. I've been traveling. What the fuck was I gonna say? Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, the it's sun. Fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fun in the sun. You I'm said eat, something about potatoes. I'm eating that... potatoes. Vitamin D because you, you're full Is of vitamin, vitamin D. Is vitamin D in potatoes? Isn't it? I don't think so. <laughs> I go to vitamin school, D you get from the sun. Twenty pounds. And you're like, you know what? I, <laughs> vitamin D potatoes for breakfast. <laughs> I'm just COVID can suck my dick. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm walking down Sunset Boulevard shirtless with a raw potato. In my raw potato. <laughs> you're just scooping instant mash into your mouth. That's what you have to do, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And COVID can't get. I, it refuses to get me. It doesn't want me. Yeah. Too many potatoes. Too many too positive <laughs> vibes. Too many potatoes. Too many I'm vitamin charged. fortified potatoes. Yeah. yeah. I'm ionically charged with vitamin Extra D. pulp. <laughs> Added calcium. <laughs> yeah, those extra pulp uh, potatoes. You know what I mean? You remember that you remember that uh that like the that shield that the Gungans had in the Phantom Menace? <clears throat> no. Yeah, I, I believe we all do. Everybody, who could forget? Of course. <laughs> that's me and COVID, dude. I'm just like I'm in my Gungan fortress and like COVID can't get in. Yeah. Okay. I think that's what Fauci I believe recommends that. too. 
Stay home. Be in your Gungan Fortress. Bar- barricade yourself in your Bar- Gungan Fortress. Yeah, please, get some potatoes. <laughs> yeah, just rewatch the movie where Matt Damon's on Mars. Oh, yeah. Figure yeah, out the potato he's, situation he's, yeah. in your house. Just Think about it. Poop potatoes. He didn't get sick at all. He didn't get sick at all, and he's eating shit potatoes. Mm. Potatoes made of shit. There's no, there's, hey, you know, there's no atheist in a foxhole? No COVID on Mars. You That's know right. What That's right. Go. That's just one of the truths. They don't want you to know that. <laughs> they don't want you to know <laughs> that. Space Force is working on that, though, folks. Yo, Space Force. Can I just take a minute? Can <laughs> yeah, we just take sure. a minute to give fr- credit where credit's due? <laughs> we of got course. To. Space Force is so sick. Dude. On Netflix, the show? <laughs> no. <laughs> the Steve Carell show? <laughs> that show is a straight up romp, dude. <laughs> <laughs> My God! I saw that guy from like Mossad was like, "Aliens are real. They don't want to come here." I'm like, now I see what Trump was doing with Space Force. He's trying mm. to show that we're forward thinking. Oh, absolutely. I think it's hard. You know, like there was a minute there in the beginning of the pandemic where I was like, I don't know about this Trump guy, but now I have to say, <laughs> well, because it's like, what did he mess up before that? You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. A lot. Yeah. What? But... <laughs> 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 Name ten things. He's, he performs best. He he's a buzzer beater kind of guy. He performs best on the Abs- wire. Absolutely. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Folks, I mean, backs I can relate to that. <laughs> so you know, now it's it's December twentieth. He's whatever. a procrastinator, and then he just needs a deadline. Yeah. And then he'll 100%. just fucking pack it up. Yep. He'll he'll just you know pull an all nighter. Honestly, that's he's, what he's doing right now with the extra money. <laughs> yes. He's yeah. Crushing his book report one night to go. Yeah. Yep. That's yep. dude, and and I mean, how great we how great is it to live under the first socialist president? That's dude? well, honestly, <laughs> he's like the first true American president. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Oh yeah. I mean, rags to riches story. Every Absolutely. day, <laughs> every day, Americans can look up to him and be like, "That's what I want to be, and that's, that's what guy. I can be. That's what I will, will be. be. Yeah. That's what I will be. There's, exactly. There's nobody. We're all getting a turn to be Trump. <laughs> <laughs> We all get to be president to at be least Trump. once in our life. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's only fair. It would be great if he just like came out and like let everybody, because he doesn't even like being in the White House. He was like, no, no, you come. <laughs> yeah, he does the Cartoon Network contest where he can be president for the day. <laughs> he turns the White House into a fucking Airbnb. Yeah, we turn the, Air- the White House into the kids next door treehouse. And <laughs> you guys can be the president for the day if you enter in 10 box tops from <laughs> Gushers or any of my other favorite snacks. That would be, I mean... He would never stop if that if he did that, and I hope he's listening. I'm sure <laughs> he would never yes, stop of being president. <laughs> this is a really good epic coward hour. <laughs> this one's really good. <laughs> that a good idea. Oh, yeah, I think they named uh, the space force like you know like the Guardians. The Guardians, the gu- which damn what of is the going galaxy. On? I know. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Ooh. Well, isn't the the Pentagon is supposed to because the whole thing. I learned this from listening to Chris Wood's podcast, so like again, questionable source. I, I love any time we're podcasting, and you're like, and here's a deal with the Pentagon. <laughs> Let me tell you what they're up to. <laughs> like, well, no, because they do. You can they, open that up. Yeah. They have like they have like an extra tr- they have yes. like an extraterrestrial research uh, section. Sure. That they were spending like tens of billions, if not hundreds of billions of dollars in, and Congress was like, okay, you need to ex- you need to like declassify that because like yeah, we can't approve that budget unless yeah. we know exactly. And plus, they're like, we for. got Tom DeLonge up our ass about this, <laughs> right. and he wants answers. <laughs> <laughs> the guy from Blink-182 <laughs> won't stop talking he's, about aliens. He's crushing so, us in the PR. He's fucking crushing I, us. I don't know if it already happened and it was just buried, if it was going to happen, but apparently the Pentagon is supposed to like directly declassify a bunch of like UFO studies. Oh, shit. Like, like recent ones. Not like the ones that like... Are, we're like the one, not like, like Area videos. 51 videos. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah be, I think because a certain amount of time had passed. Right. But they're supposed to like fully declassify what they're using that money for, and I'm like, maybe there's some big news coming. Maybe we need the guard. Gungan yeah. shields, dude. Yeah, Trump <laughs> on his way out would be really funny. He's like, also oh, aliens are real. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I knew the whole time. Yeah, Joe Biden's actually an alien. He's uh, an alien, uh, or at least he gets <laughs> fucked by them. He gets fucked by them so much so that his so DNA is that aliens. of an alien. He's fucking aliens. <laughs> He gets, a, he gets a shot in his ass you wouldn't believe. <laughs> and then he perks up like never before. The, tall, really the tall grays have their way with Joe. My God. Joe, Joe Biden is it. getting an alien liposuction to make his ass fat. <laughs> He's afraid of uh, Kamala Harris is outshining him in the Badunka Dunk department. Yo, Kamala is, I'll say this. You know, I hate. I hate Kamala, she, you guys. Oh, Kamala. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. I forgot right. that she's Obama's sister of the great island of Hawaii, <laughs> right? Was she from Hawaii, too? <laughs> Is she? No, I thought she was, like, uh, Indian or something. Yeah, her dad's That's Jamaican. Something. I don't fucking care. <laughs> That's what say. I'll tell you what it is. Not American. <laughs> Hawaii's yeah. a state, not to me. Not to me. Oh, come on, let's see that birth certificate, right? I know that's oh, what Eric's saying, right? That's here. what I'm saying. Right, Where's mm-hmm. that birth certificate? Kamala, I'm trying to see both of your parents... 
at the, the same fucking, room. In the yeah. same room, on their knees, with the fucking gun to the back of their heads. I bet her, I bet her birth certificate was written on like a leaf from a palm tree. That's how foreign <laughs> she is. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, we need to know who's in the White House, Josh. We Don't you agree? <laughs> show, I'm with you. Show us the palm tree. <laughs> show us the leaf. Show us the leaf. <laughs> Show us the tea leaves. Oh, <laughs> we know they're written out in tea leaves or some sort of weird <laughs> Tibetan sand diagram that gets erased wiped after away. it's done. That's why she might not have it. Gets wiped away. <laughs> <laughs> it's tradition, folks. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> all right, let's start the podcast. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll t- I, this is Coward Hour, you, right? I will tell you what I'm worried about. Yeah, this is Coward Hour. Coward Hour East. Coward East Coast. Ooh. East. Oh. I am glad that we're getting to do this again. I, Me I, too. Coward Hour East I would like to do it like every year. If I keep coming back, yeah, oh, sure. yeah make, make it a tradition. Yeah, man. Yeah, I would. I would. I just. I like it. I like having a little sect of coward hour, mm-hmm. a sect of like-minded individuals. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a, just a place. A we, caliphate of yeah, sorts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a type of clan, if yeah, you will. Yeah, just a place Different, we just to. undercover cells all across America <laughs> yeah. on east each coast. <laughs> Like-minded just, individuals. Let's just shut the door, lock the deadbolt as Eric did before we walked in here, and just get down to business. Get dude. down to business. Yeah. Turn yeah. on the, the theories, the red lights, and the, the ceiling fan. Yeah, yeah, this is a you do. This is a really Eric, the last time I'm we going red here, on this. You had fucking nothing. We were recording like on the floor, and now it's a den, dude. Rags to riches, place. dude. Yeah, the, the Trump success story. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> this is, absolutely. Yeah. This is my. This is probably up. what the uh, his bedroom looks like at the White oh, House. Of course. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put the projector up. <laughs> Put the projector up. Where's my Wii U? Where's the <laughs> Super Nintendo? I need my golden Wii U. This, yeah. Why do you have a Firehouse <laughs> subs bucket? It's like um, a bucket that you mix, <laughs> that you mix that. like concrete in. Listen, yeah, oh my it's god! Full of dirt, Listen, Eric. it's full of dirt. I, I used to. It's full of dirt. Okay. Why does were you fire? making? Were you making fertilizer devices in here, dude? <laughs> this, <laughs> no. This no good. The no, official it's for, pickle bucket. Okay. Yeah, you get them at Firehouse Subs for five bucks. Sure. Mm-hmm. They come with a lid. Mm-hmm. You say that's how they serve you one pickle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's actually their uh, large drink cup. Um, <laughs> I know what I'm doing with my six hundred dollars. I'm gonna get six hundred bucks. No, I was two doing G's, uh, two G's. Be respectful. Two G's. Oh, two G's. Right. If, they, right. if the government tries to give me six hundred, I won't accept it. I won't <laughs> accept it until they honor my man's word. Dude. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is amazing too. He wasn't involved in negotiations at all, and it took forever to get that deal yeah. done. And he's yeah. like. Do it again. <laughs> he's like, I don't, he's like, it's not. You right. know what? Not enough. <laughs> I don't not think an- it seems right. Not enough. I wish that he had just ran on a ticket with Bernie. It would have been the ultimate president. Yeah, that would have been <laughs> amazing. Think about how perfect that would have been. I can't think of a single thing that would have gone wrong. <laughs> no, <laughs> Instead of Trump Bernie ticket, <laughs> just <laughs> two of the oldest men to ever yeah. run for president <laughs> on the same ticket. Just two, dude. Jeez. Jeez. A quality sitcom too. It's just <laughs> <Yeah>. like Bernie, <laughs> the, classic, the odd couple, dude. That's truly the odd couple. Oh my god! No, we're not gonna nuke Iran. Oh, you never let me do anything. These two, <laughs> at oh. it again. Yeah, oh, I wasn't boy. making bombs. I was doing hydroponics with the bucket. Oh, just nice. so everyone knows, you're a big weed guy. No, not weed for peppers. Oh. I'm a big pepper guy. Is that true? You're not covering for yourself? No, that's for that's yeah, for real. He, he oh. makes peppers. Oh, yeah. I, know that, I grow a lot of peppers. This, I got some hot sauce. If this you like sick hot fuck, sauce. he would do a show where he makes you eat a pepper and then do stand up. And they yeah, were peppers that you set. had grown yourself. And yeah, he had cultivated yeah. in a firehouse subs bucket. Now that you know that, how do you feel? Oh, terrible. Disgusting, Honestly. right? Well, yeah. but I mean, it's it's pretty safe. It's just water with nutrients in it. <laughs> right. And then the roots go in. Right. And so is heroin. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Which I also have in a firehouse subs bucket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can get Eric, Eric. Technically, everything is stardust, dude. You can't. Don't tell me. <laughs> don't break something down to its to its basic building blocks to make me feel better. A I lawyer mean, for like a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, are you Your Honor, do? aren't we all stardust? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> aren't we all perlite and mm-hmm. you know fertilizers and mm-hmm. I triggers? Didn't, I didn't know that you had this. I guess you know. I guess I had seen it, but uh, I didn't know that you had the hot pepper show. How long did that go? Um, we were doing baby. it for just about a year. So, Ugly Baby was Liz and Beth Hayden's show. Oh, and then I you presided over. It. I thought that you had some ceremonial duties there. No, I reason. would just I would go to support, but then I'd hang out in Soundgarden and look at records and right. stuff. Um, no, so we did Hot Set at the Crown. Um, for like about a year, I was doing Top Secret there again too. I like brought it back. Oh. Top Secret was awesome. We, was fun. we were doing them there for like a year about. Um, 
until the pandemic hit, obviously. Right. Or I think our last one was in like February. You guys aren't bootlegging, running secret shows in the middle of the pandemic, really, no, dude? No. Wasn't there? There were shows at the Auto Bar, right? Uh, like, there was like yes. one. There yeah. was one in person show, and they used the downstairs stage. Yeah, and that was pretty spaced out, though, right? Yeah, I, I just saw a picture. I didn't go. I didn't go. I haven't were been they doing, doing shit to be shows honest. At the Auto Bar? No, I don't think so. Th- when, when no, they're, they're get... doing like donating, like donation thons yeah. or whatever. Oh, okay. Quinlan hit me up to do some virtual show in the early months of the pandemic, and I had already heard my roommates at the time just like doing shows in the kitchen, and I was like, I yeah. want no part of that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's want to begin. Dumbest shit ever. Uh, yeah. I did a Zoom did shows a, are gay. I did a few Zoom shows, and they were actually kind of fun. One uh, was like it was like twenty people, but the DC Improv they'll have like three hundred people watching the show. Really? Yeah. Okay. Is the DC Improv staying afloat? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Do you uh, actually get to like hear a response in those rooms? So though? the weird or, like, thing is, so on the screen they just select like five people that like raise their hands. So you have yeah. five people you can see, but you can't hear them. Oh man! But what's but it's it it works. But you do feel like a psycho in your laptop because you have to like pause as well. Right. Like you're just like, and then they had pants. And you're just praying that they're, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like smiling or laughing. But the worst part is the chat on the side, which could eviscerate you if they want it. Right. Oh, of course. Because, like, when you're on stage, you're like, if they're laughing, they're enjoying it. But there's no nuance there of, like, oh, that is okay. That's pretty funny. That's all right. right. Like, 300 people all being like, ha, ha, ha. But they could just be like, you suck. Ha, ha, ha. This guy like, sucks. <laughs> Real-time reaction. Yeah, like, eh. fuck. Yeah, that's too much. But that one ended up being really fun. That was pretty good. I only did a few. But, yeah, they are weird. I remember it's, I watched one of Quinlan's first, like, Zoom shows. He yeah. was doing it with Ronald James, I think. Yeah. And... It was like back when they didn't figure out any of like the Zoom hijacking shit. So like, oh dude, yeah, yeah. So there was just like you know random fucking teenagers found the link and it wasn't protected and oh, no. you could share your screen without authorization. You could talk without author- authorization. So it just kept being like people screen sharing Pornhub and like playing like raw dog videos. Yeah, and, like, dude. And Quinlan just kept getting on the mic and being like. Whoever you are, meet me outside in 10 minutes, <laughs> Roosevelt Park. I'll see you there, you little fucker. I'm going to beat your ass. Like, da da da. And it's like, Mike, they aren't in Baltimore, most likely. Dude, like, also, yeah, Mike like, is the fucking man. Yeah. That's awesome. But, like, for that's literally like, like half dad. an hour. Like, now you stop making fun of my son on the Facebook. <laughs> He's like, my girlfriend's trying to figure this out right now. She did help me a lot to set this up. Yeah. And this is ruining it. You're ruining a show. <laughs> like, people like posting swastikas. Is and shit. Very like, like sweet of him to try, but yeah, they're not Jason. Like, and then can be your in ass. the comment, I just kept being like, "Mike, look at this article. It's how to like turn shit private. Right. You can disable right. screen sharing." No. Yeah. But the he was, you know, he, he wasn't looking at chat. Exactly. It's <laughs> like, ready to ring it's like ten minutes. Ten minutes. I'll be outside. You better be there. You fuck. That would be it was so, so awesome. funny. Was them coordinates. <laughs> 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 He's doxing himself <laughs> to fight True. them. Yeah. <laughs> but it would be amazing if they did show up. Yeah. Or just beats up some random person that I know. happens to be at the bar. He's like, yeah. "Are you fucking with my Zoom?" <laughs> yeah, just comes some back on screen covered in blood. Random right, ass next kid skateboarding. Comic, really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's just hurling kids through the air like the Persians in Three Hundred. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was one. There, there was there, there was a Zoom. This is Zoom comedy. <laughs> uh, there was a Zoom show that I so like. There's a bunch of like really bad like alt comics now. Like I don't have to tell you guys that you know that. But they but like they what? were all bright eyed and bushy tailed in the beginning of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And uh, there was this guy who later got um, found out that he was like using these Zoom shows to like money launder this like crazy Whoa. guy who, who ran huh. these alt shows. Yeah, Brian Foy. That's pretty smart. His name. Uh, <laughs> And he was he like booked this Zoom show with like some of like the like the top build alt comics in like East LA and like they were raising money for like you know some Black Lives Matter thing that it actually wasn't going there but that's not the point yeah it, it, they thought they were doing something good and like within five minutes of the show they were like thirteen year olds like you're talking about like coming into the chat screaming the N word yeah one oh of them, no I, yeah dude I tuned in one of them straight up like pressed his dick against his webcam. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Now that's worth oh five dollars. Yes, Holy that's good shit. Yeah. And it was, I mean, it was way better than the show was going. Oh, to be. yeah, of course. <laughs> I love chaos like that. 
Uh, it, it, it was, it's I was amazing. Like, at the beginning of the pandemic, I was like, whoa, it's like 2005 internet again. Dude, this for sick. real. Yeah. It was crazy. I did uh, I did one I started playing show. Counter-Strike again. <laughs> <laughs> I did a Zoom show with Mike Racine, and that was my first one. I think it was his first one, too. Because he left his camera and his mic on while he like stepped away for a second. So during my set, you could hear him arguing with his girlfriend. <laughs> He's like, I told you these things fucking suck. Well, it, was like, it was about like moving the oven. He's like, yeah, I'm going to put it back after the show. Because I don't want to step on mouse droppings, all right? I, like, like, I used to work at an office. Hello? <laughs> Just hear, like, a domestic dispute. Oh, my God. It was pretty amazing. That's so funny. But it was great when he came back everybody's like mike uh your mic was on he's like what (laughs) (laughs) what (laughs) what no i was i wasn't in front of it how could that be i couldn't even see the computer (laughs) can we turn that fan on Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Moving yeah. I can also I can turn the heat off because you're like right you're, next you're to the worried. radiator. Oh yeah, you're worried I got, about COVID, Josh. I, I am worried I'm about it. I'm worried about well, you know, it. You know, who? Umar got it, dude. He got it. Yeah, his really? uh, his girl got it because she works in a hospital. Oh. Yeah. So what the fuck, dude? Except he must have the antibodies. Oh yeah, That's yeah. You did oh it. yeah, he's anti Christ. <sighs> anti. <Okay>. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, we did it over Zoom. Plus he. I call he, Muslims that too. He's dude. in the clear now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. That's> right. <laughs> he's anti Christmas. Yeah, he's going clear. He's joined Scientology. But uh, all right, yeah. So I, I guess he's got the antibodies. Yeah, I, I think I th- I'm 99 percent sure I'm okay. Yeah. You know, I think yeah. you know it's better to just be cautious. I you're definitely, right, right. I definitely am not sick. I'm saying that right now. <laughs> I'm definitely not sick either, dude. Okay, no so worries. Josh, I, it's I, gonna be you if it's anyone. Why? That's sick. Yeah. Why? Because yeah. we got tests. Yeah, I can't I got, get it. I got. When did you get a test? I got a test last Friday. Okay. I got a test. It came I, back I, I, like I feel, I feel Tuesday. Pretty, I feel pretty good about that. Yeah. I got a test last Friday too, actually. Listen. Yeah. Listen, Nick's the wild card here. If yeah. anybody's the wild that card. That is true. I mean, look, I'm on, the rec- I'm on the record. I have COVID immunity. I can feel the vibes, dude. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the is me that I'm, I'm mostly a potato. I'm fine. I'm fu- I have been taking vitamin uh, D. That's been good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, wearing the mask. Uh, yeah, I just don't want to get it. Right. right. Yeah, you're I know. Over, you're, over the, you're over the hill. You might I'm, I'm 49 yeah, years dude, old. Yeah, you got pre existing conditions, dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take my legs <laughs> and harvest them for younger people to go get potatoes. I thought you meant you couldn't pay the hospital bill. No, that too. <laughs> uh, no, I'll be fine. I'm fine. You'll Just be fine. Dude. I think you're ready fine. to dive out the I'm window. I'm ready you're to dive. I'm like yeah. trying to get as close as I can to the window. <laughs> you see one rogue particle catch the light, you're going, dude. Yep. Right through the screen. I mean, which is fine. You know, follow me. I'm just falling out of the window. Like, I'm on Instagram. And, ah! <laughs> just doing the podcast, like, hanging onto a mic like Indiana Jones. <laughs> like, Let's riff. Here we go. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I mean, we could have done this outside, probably. True. We could have. Have you ever done it? Probably did, should have. Yeah. Have we you did. done outside podcasts? Yeah. I have a dream about doing that, man. It seems really nice. It's fun. Yeah. Me and Jimmy uh, will go to Lock gonna... Raven sometimes and do them. <clears throat> really? Yeah, and just, like, sit on the edge of the water. Yeah, and Umar and I would do it on our chill. porches all the time. It was really nice, really nice. God damn, dude. Lots of people walk up though. They're like, "What are you? What are you doing?" Yeah, like, hey, we're just move, recording. Move we're along. Riffing. Move along. All right. All That's right? why. Yeah, it would have been weird to do Coward Hour East Coast on <laughs> outside. Yeah. Well, I never come at the right time either. <laughs> yeah, just us screaming about how sick Trump and Space Force is. <laughs> That is kind of the rough part about doing an outside podcast, <laughs> where you're just like, "Yeah, no, we're fucking gay." Yeah. Like, what are you? Yeah. Like, that's, you know, you, it's honestly like Uber winking was... at your neighbors. Mm. <laughs> like, mm. Yeah, Umar came over like waste, not wasted, but he had a few drinks, and then like came over, and he was like, people were looking, like walking by, and they're like, like just kind of looking. He's like, "Hey, how you doing? We're gay." <laughs> like, All right. easy, easy, easy. That's hey, we're so having awesome. a COVID hookup over here. <laughs> yeah. Easy, easy. NSA, no strings attached. It's called public <laughs> pausing, and we're doing it. We're doing it on mic. <laughs> we're spreading posy vibes, folks. Line up, line up. <laughs> HIV isn't a death sentence anymore, people. All yeah. right, it's called prep. <laughs> 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 we should, you know, what, let's stop recording. Let's take this down to the cemetery across the way from like those. 
Yeah, I mean we <laughs> could. <laughs> yeah, dude. Go full goth. Let's just have a full. Let's have a full podcast <laughs> seance. What, a, what, what an yeah, interesting dude. like goth uh, evolution. Yeah, like, he used to just be like, let's just hang out there and listen to music. So <laughs> like, let's hang out by the tombstone <laughs> and record our thoughts. Let's pod, dude. Let's fucking let's pod, pod, baby. Let's get a nice good dark pod going. Man. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. Spooky. That's what I'm saying, dude. Hell yeah. I got. I'll bring this along. My little skeleton pillow. Oh, that's sick. Ooh, yeah, that's boy. pretty good for cuddling. How, it's, yeah. Eric, you have it's this like long... goose down. Mm. Oh, see, I can't. I don't fuck with goose down because they always fucking like poke you in the face. Yeah, it does own. suck sometimes. I don't understand the luxury of, of it. Is comfortable? Feathers. Is it comfortable? It's I never comfortable. felt that way. It's pretty comfy. If if I so you're saying why do I have this? If I had this setup because you have a bed, I have a real bed too. Yeah, but if I had this setup, dude, I would I would use that room for some I don't know making fertilizer bombs like you're doing out here. <laughs> I would use that room for activities. I would sleep on this beanbag bed and just like watch fucking Amazon. All the night. problem with the beanbag bed is it it presses down too easily like i need more foam in it or something right and then also like if you sleep on it like two or three days in a row because trust me during the beginning of pandemic peak depression Mm -hmm. you're everyone was out of jobs yeah dude i was just literally catatonic on this thing like barely like getting up out of it uh, and it fucked up my back so bad yeah there's no support there there's no support yeah i have like five different back like I have those wheels from Instagram. I have the fucking like so right thing. I uh, I got a foam roller. My back is so fucked that I can't even begin to care. I've got a back like oh, a question your, mark. Your dude. back has been messed up for years, right? I mean, there's a lot of things in me. I, I've I've got I've just got general inflammation problems, Josh. Yeah, but I'm sure. I'm taking vitamins. You also have a <laughs> hole in your spine. <laughs> what? You also have yeah, you got a yeah, hole in your well, spine. You got. I thought that would help. I thought that maybe they would. I thought that maybe I had too much shit in my back. If they could just pull some out, <laughs> <laughs> they could just extract some. Yeah. Can, I need to make a little room back <laughs> Bad there. Yeah. yeah, if COVID gets to the hole, it's like I can't go anywhere. There's a fucking hole here. <laughs> but I, I haven't slept with support because, like, at the I just slept on an air mattress. Like, yeah, for like two true. years. Jesus, oh, Jesus Christ. When I moved in. With my last two roommates, um, I took their bed, but like they had broken, they'd like ruined the box spring or something, so they mm-hmm. threw it out. And I never bought a box spring, which was smart because I wouldn't have been able to take it with me. So I was just sleeping on a mattress on the ground, mm-hmm. no yeah. support. Very dudes rock like that. I've, Dude, d- I've done that many a time. I've been living the dude rock lifestyle for the better part of five years. <laughs> all right. Yeah. There's, there's absolutely anything. If you comfortable, what are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing with pillows? Do you on have your bed, sheets. Dude? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have one Off comforter. Of the floor? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen of England is here, apparently. <laughs> now I've got a bed, and I moved into a new place. I'm living with Isaac Hirsch now, and the, his last roommate like left the bed there. Nice. And it's it's like a three out of ten, mm-hmm. but it, that's more than I've had. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So you're back with Isaac. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Full circle. Nice. Total full circle, dude. How's Isaac doing? Isaac is the man. Yeah. Isaac rule. Isaac. I mean, it's sad. He's like kind of like. Although he's getting, it's weird, he's getting motivated, like, recently to, like, start doing stuff again, but, like, mm-hmm. he's got a girlfriend, it's going really well, he's just, like, he just started working a job, and he just, like, is, he, like, has a job that he really likes. I nice. love it. Yeah, 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 he's in That's a really good. good, he's, like, the most at peace I've seen any of my friends. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I want him to, he's so fucking funny, I want him to start doing stuff again. We were gonna shoot a, we were, like, putting money away to, like, shoot this hilarious sketch that he wrote. Like, we were going to, like, rent out a, a, a studio space, get, like, a crew and everything. Mm-hmm. And, like, COVID hit, like, the week before we were supposed to shoot mm-hmm. this. Jeez. Yeah. But I'm, I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that, like, once everything opens back up, he starts doing stand-up again. Yeah. yeah. He's so good. He's unbelievable. Yeah. 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 It's, Are you doing stand-up? Or were you? Um, ki- yeah, kind of. Yeah. I mean, I don't... It, Stand up in LA is tough. And yeah. it got it like got yeah. worse like three months after I moved there. Is mm-hmm. like when it like got like crazy, like holy fuck, like these people don't want to see any of me at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you moved at a tough time. I did I moved at a weird time. Although like I will like I feel like I got there right as the party was ending. Gotcha. To be fair. Gotcha. Um the first year was pretty good. But I it, Regardless, I want to start doing stand up again. I don't know if I'm going to stay in LA. I might move to another city, like because my girlfriend lives in Chicago. I might move there. Okay, mm. we might move to Texas. We might. We might oh, move you're going to gonna move oh, to yeah. Austin. Follow Rogan. Yeah, I, I might not. He invited to... you, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rogan's a big fan of, of, uh, of the Coward Hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
exactly. And then when you move, you're obviously going to make Brendan move with you. <laughs> no, because we found that we can do the cast remotely. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, Brendan might have other plans. Nice. But uh, I don't mm. think the podcast is going to stop anytime soon. I no. should not be talking about this on mic at all. Oh, boy. Oh, no. oh I boy. Think it's okay. So the podcast is over, huh? Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, it's, not, it's definitely not. No, no, wow. no. It's, it's the most money we've ever made doing comedy. The podcast nice. is not ending. <laughs> there you go. Which is not a lot, by the way. <laughs> I'm sleeping on a three out of ten. <laughs> it was given to me, but still, I'm doing well. Oh fuck! No one will take this podcast from me. How is the so, how does I'm, how does I'm the so place just like not saying everything on mic? <laughs> how does the place rank compared to? I think I only saw your old place when it was like you, Isaac, oh, Brendan, and Tim. The fucking the place in Burbank. That place was nice. Yeah, but it was it was in Burbank, which is fucking away. Out of the me. way. Now yeah. I'm like. Across and then I saw Con and Cameron's place before you moved there. Right. And I know you're living there for a while. I was living oh, in yeah. the bedroom. Yeah. 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 How um, does this rank? It's it's below. It's probably even below the first place I lived. Honestly, it's really. But it's cheap. I mean, my room is like four hundred a month, mm-hmm. and the location is awesome. It's a house, it's okay. an apartment. It's like a full house we have to ourselves. Mm-hmm. And Echo Park Lakes across the street. You can like. I don't spend a lot of time in the house. I'm out. I'm walking. I'm eating my potato. I'm mm-hmm. my get, get, get yeah, that sun. <laughs> yeah, got Posse vibes. Sun, Posse vibes. Yeah, yeah. I'm pausing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in West Hollywood, just pausing the fuck out. Pausing, just scraping up some change. <laughs> I'm telling to... every fella I see, I'm pausy. <laughs> <laughs> FYI. But yeah, it's it's good. I I I like the people there. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I don't think I've ever really lived it because like when I lived at the place in Burbank, it was like. It's like I was always late with rent. Like it was a nice house, but it was a hostile environment. True. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. But this is the most stable I've been. Yeah. yeah. Just living in like a mentally yeah. bed wise. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, bug infested? Oh, we got bugs, buddy. We got <laughs> bugs. We had a bug oh problem, no. Dude. Ugh. But we've got we've got bug we've got bugs we've uh. got a skunk and we have stray ca- we have stray you have a cats. skunk there's a skunk that in hangs the middle out. of L A yeah dude <laughs> what, <laughs> what? <laughs> our, our house is a wreck. he like lose his acting job or <laughs> what's going on I love that this was like predicated about you're like I'm doing great <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> well I mean I'm not here's the thing dude I don't let my I, unlike some people in the room I don't let my environment determine my mentality oh right? there you go that's a mental there you okay. go. yeah I hope you break out of that <laughs> 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 Absolutely, yeah. I got a skunk in my brain, dog. <laughs> nah, dude. I'm all, I'm I'm deed up. I'm paused. The skunk can't get me. Ooh. <laughs> but um, but yeah, no. There's and the problem is I had, like a bad roommate like eating your stuff. You're like skunk. I was gonna eat that pizza. He's like shut up. <laughs> um. <laughs> And there's stray cat. I have a cat, my cat Rita, who I love very much. But there's stray cats that live in the alley. Well, we our our house is like walled in, but like they come, <laughs> they run around on the our it's house. Yeah, and, and there's no windows, and it's subterranean. <laughs> yeah, they never uh, took the tent they, down. They didn't, when they didn't they, take that. The down. exterminators yeah. came. Yeah, I woke up the second day I was there. I woke up, somebody was just like pouring cement in front of my window. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's a house. There's a there's a gate. I promise it's a house. I know that it sounds like I'm not describing the house. Yeah, but I promise you, it is technically a house. <laughs> it's technically a house. Yeah, exactly. And if it wasn't, how could it be condemned? Josh? Yeah, <laughs> it's not really a house. It's kind of like yeah. a terrarium. Yeah, what are they going to condemn a terrarium? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Oh my fucking! <laughs> <laughs> these and I, these cats, they wake me up at night because. <laughs> <laughs> they they fight and they fuck each other on yeah. the roof of my well, house. Well, the skunk always thinks one of the cats is another skunk, right, and he tries right. to fuck it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, there's all these cans of white paint that keep falling on the fucking cats. And they fight and they fuck. So the walls are, not only is the wall thin, the roof is thin, buddy. The roof is very thin. And so my cat wakes up because she hears the cats fucking each other. Then the cats come down off the roof and they try to break through the window to my room. To fuck poor Rita. To fuck poor Rita. Oh my God. The most consistent woman who's ever been in my life. I can't let it happen. You gotta protect this house, dude. I protect Rita at all costs. You have to. I'm like Ray Lewis when it comes to Rita's pussy. Absolutely. I, I protect the house. Yeah, you'll there murder you for it. I will, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever I do, but that's between me and, uh-huh. Reed, and God and, and Rita's pussy. And God. <laughs> Which also could be the same thing. Just saying. I, I mean, God-like. It's pot like it's pot like religion, you dude. That's very spiritual. I'm very into that. Absolutely. <laughs> that's yin and yang. That's Buddha. That's all of it. We're all part of the blanket. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you for saying. It. Yeah, dude. Thank you. Somebody we had are, the Rita's pussy is just stardust. <laughs> oh my god! Like all of us. <laughs> I love that you're in a recliner. <laughs> it's like, this is the thing about my cat's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me teach you boys a lesson. <laughs> yeah, this is. Oh, it man, sounds got, good though, man. It sounds nice. Yeah, I'm having a good time. I mean, that's all good. you can really ask out of life. I think. Yeah, positive vibes. I live day to day, dude. Yeah. I love it. And you know, met a nice a gal. It sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my girlfriend's good. awesome. She's coming here actually. Nice. She's oh. here. Yeah, he's, <laughs> okay. no, yeah, yeah, she's, she's gonna be here in ten yeah. minutes. Clean up your ass. No. Oh <laughs> Put the buckets away. <laughs> <laughs> if she sees a fucking dirty pickle bucket in here, <laughs> she's gonna flip, dude. She's gonna flip the fuck she's out. She's gonna break up with him. Doctor Fauci's gonna come in here and oh. condemn the bucket. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. But yeah, it's uh, it's weirdly probably been the best year of my life. Yeah. Good. In the pandemic. Same. Yeah, yeah. yeah, is that it's, true for you too? It's been great. Yeah, tell me about it, man. Uh, last time we podcast, I was engaged. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I wanted to ask you. You I finally got to grow your facial hair out. What's that? You finally got to grow the facial I hair did, out. I did, yeah. Dude. I got her out of there. I was like, no, I can be a guy. <laughs> <laughs> get rid of all this, uh, I don't know, crystals and stuff. <laughs> Those are gay. Do you, do you care to go into it at all? Like, Sure. Uh, yeah. yeah, I... Um, so yeah, we were engaged, and then like I was nervous about it, but I thought it was just nerves of like a general kind of like oh I'm getting married like usual stuff. Yeah, and I was trying, I was doing a bit about it for a little bit of uh, on Zoom, and uh, <laughs> right in front of her dumb <laughs> fucking face, <laughs> right <in> her <laughs> stupid laptop. <there. laughs> Like, yeah, so you like, those 300 people are like, this is a weird bit. I'm like, she's a fucking bit. <laughs> Won't let me grow a beard. <laughs> she's in the other room like Mike Christine's wife. <laughs> she's in the chat. She's like, this guy sucks. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so we uh, yeah got, got engaged, and then we were supposed to get married in June of this year. Uh, COVID I, I was hit. invited to the after party. Yeah. Not yeah. the actual wedding. That was, I was fine with. that was another thing. That was another thing. It was okay. Whatever. Thing. Weddings you know. are expensive. Yeah, dude. They're stupid expensive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the wedding was going to be very small, though. It was going to be an artifact coffee. So it was like 20 oh, people. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nick was invited. But, you know, it's. Uh, <laughs> we, don't have, in. we don't have to go into that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. His girl, I never met her. I was excited. Yeah. Um, <laughs> said, whatever, whatever bitch you're with, bring her. <laughs> yeah. bring Rita or whatever <laughs> slut you bring. If <laughs> I don't see that skunk, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I want you to present me the rings in Rita's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Please, <laughs> it's my day. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, but so uh, the bit is where it's like you get engaged and then there's a pandemic and you have to quarantine. So the yeah. universe is like, you like this person? You want to spend your life with it? You want to spend every day with this person? <laughs> you sure? You, okay, <laughs> go ahead. Okay, just check it. Uh, but yeah, just as stuff went on, it was like we were fi- like things were good for a bit, but then we were fighting, and then um, yeah, it was just like, oh, I don't have to do this. You know, so yeah, we just broke it off, and it's nice. been great. And she agrees too that I, it would not have lasted. You know, okay. like I think we would have gone a couple years, but um, yeah. But as it was approaching, I was like, because we also canceled the wedding due to COVID. Yeah, right? so it was already canceled. It's already an out. You had an out, dude. Exactly. It was already. Awesome. It was well, and then she was like, "Well, let's reschedule for uh, next year." And no. so yeah, and it, at that let's point, get some potatoes first. <laughs> no. let's just, let's I'm gonna fuck over. a skunk. For, no. uh, <laughs> It's a sign from the universe. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> I have a can of white paint. Uh, <laughs> um, she, uh, so yeah, so we canceled that, but then it was like, well, let's uh, let's reschedule. And then what she wanted to reschedule for, I was like, oh, that's like less than a year. Like I broke out in. Um, uh, I got shingles like the week before we were supposed to get just from stress. Whoa, right? Like yeah. it was already canceled, but yeah, like just yeah. from stress. But I got, still, yeah. exactly, yeah. And I've I've gotten them before from stress, so I knew what it was. So luckily, like I caught it early. Yeah. But I just knew that I had so many people in my life that are great, and there were a lot of people reaching out of just like, "Hey, congrats! Sorry, it's not happening, but there's always next year." And I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and like so stuff like that was like setting in, and I was like, "These aren't good signs. Like you should be more." excited about it and like when stuff got canceled i was relieved and like nothing yeah. like against her it's just i just feel like well you got kind were... of like 
your life kind of got like squished in and like yeah, yeah. confined yeah. real quick because yeah. like you were just fucking you were out doing like you're driving to dc a couple times a week doing yeah. shows yeah and, exactly like, so i was working full-time doing shows playing in a band just, yeah like, super busy, it then. went from that to you being home 24 yeah. 7 and it was kind of nice at first because like oh it's slowing down you can like live like a person and not have yeah. to worry about doing a mic or like going straight from work to dc and it's like i can do laundry and make meals and right. chill out and wear sweatpants all day and, like shit like that yeah but then like as it went on and got like more real and it's like, like wait who the fuck is this bro? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah pretty much i'm sure she felt the same way about me too yeah. uh but yeah i just had to like call it one day and i was like yeah i don't want to do this and she was like all right i'm gonna quarantine for two weeks and then move in with her parents so i had to like leave my house for two weeks oh, and damn. Yeah, yeah i mean gentlemen leave you Oh, to dude, be I nice. was quite the gentleman about it. <laughs> yeah. Quite the gentleman. Where'd you go? The high road. No, I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you were looking for me. Oh my god! Did you pull Michelle? Oh yeah. <laughs> me and Michelle were hanging out, working out, planting, planting a garden. Uh, but yeah, exactly. But it was sort of like the uh, the other way would have been way worse. Like I just wanted to end it like clean and yeah. be like. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. I mean, she was fucking pissed at the time which uh, rightfully so i get it but also uh she was also like yeah i don't think we would have lasted but at the time it was like she was pretty nasty about yeah. it mm. so which is funny too where it's like why are you, uh, wh which one is it like why are you you know like mad and also like saying stuff and i'm like why did you want to get married in the first place that yeah thing. exactly yeah. that's so that is such the thing though because it's like all right you're they're the still... one that wanted me to do this yeah but they, but you know they're looking forward to the day dude yes Get yeah pretty people are there watching it them. it's and it's just it's exactly and then like people know about it too right. like you tell people at work yeah. and like yeah like there would be stuff or to like your friends are doing it and you're like i don't want to get left behind it's, yeah yeah right right yeah but for me like i don't fucking care about any of that yeah, stuff exactly. but i think for her maybe uh but yeah her mom would be telling a story she's like oh i talked to my hairdresser and actually her daughter is getting engaged and i said that my daughter is getting engaged and it's like ah. oh, so yeah it does dude. become your identity a little bit yeah and there's just no fucking good time i mean it's a breakup but it's a breakup on a bigger scale there's just no good time for a breakup you know yeah, yeah. My, i just went to my friend's wedding uh a couple it was after i got tested mm -hmm. no 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 no, it was before I got tested. They're like, sir, you've registered for posi vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take your prep today, sir? <laughs> and, but it was nice because it was, uh, I mean, it had to be small because of the pandemic. They've been engaged for like five years. Mm. They were supposed to have like a big wedding this year. Pandemic happened. Yeah. And they had a wedding outside at a little wedding chapel. There were six people there. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, uh, they seemed pretty happy about it. Like, yeah. It seemed like the fucking yeah. way, like, not a lot of pressure. Like, I, 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 I can see... You talking about it becoming your identity, that like gives me anxiety even just thinking about it. Oh, it, no, I didn't feel that way, but I mean I mean her. in general. Yes. I just mean for people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause, and I got like, you know, and they'd have to be like, because I got a little bit of it at work, but not too much. But yeah. I feel like yeah. with chicks, it's a different level. It's where the whole like, thing. Oh, my God. Are you getting married soon? Yeah. It's, it's like, like, actually, oh my no. God. Yeah. Your life is ending. Yeah. He, he's a fucking asshole. Blah, blah, blah. Because <laughs> there, there is still like a lot of, it's like, it's weird, but it's like. Uh, Marriage is college for women. Is really Explain. Yeah. <laughs> they get the they same get amount. They drugs. <laughs> <laughs> they do some experimentation. They're playing hacky sack in the quad. <laughs> you know these women. No, I just mean like, I feel like for a dude, like, I don't know. There's there's not many things post like, yeah. all right, you fucking graduated high school. You graduated college. You your job. That's about it. Yeah, for yeah. Like, praise -wise, for like praise-wise. For your parents to be like, oh my God, my son just got a nice new job. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. But like the end for women... Yeah, technically is marriage. Yeah, well, well I guess kids. Like, what's the last fucking but, but, thing you're doing after that? Kids, kid, I like guess. A but kid, but yeah, the marriage is the big one. Well, yeah, yeah. it's weird. Like as progressive as like our society is, it's weird or how much shit is. One. Go what? ahead. Sorry, I was, I was saying the big one, but I mean like a big one. It's, a, it's one yeah. of the four pillars of, yes. of womanhood, dude. <laughs> <laughs> one of the four pillars of Islam. <laughs> <laughs> Same um, thing. <laughs> um, but no, it's it's crazy. Like how as progressive as we are, it's crazy. Like how much of like women's self worth is still tied up into like the architect. Like like. You're gonna get married, and then it's called off. Like you just you just got downgraded from like maiden to crone, essentially. Like that's how yeah. the world still views you. Yeah, it's kind of like yeah, you were going, you were on your way, right? Yeah. And now yeah, you've you know you've lost some. But to me, I'm like yeah, exactly. I'm like it would have been way fucking worse to get married, have all that shit, and then two years down the line, be like, all right, let's get divorced. Like then you have to get 
the fucking state involved. Way yeah. Worse. You have to go before a judge. Like, all that shit. You don't want to be a divorced lady. No. And I'm not saying, and look, I have no judgment. I love divorced ladies. Okay? Yeah. I, I also, have no I, judgment. See, see, I don't care about that stuff. Right. You know what I mean? But like, people Yeah, do. but you're a dude. Yeah, yeah exactly. But I mean, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't feel any stigma about it. I mean, you, you guys are sweet. It's funny with, like, the pandemic because i was gonna do like i didn't want to do like a facebook post either like speaking of like perceptions and stuff like yeah. i don't want to be that guy it's like you might have heard but i've recently like blah, blah, guess blah. who's single yeah, exactly. <laughs> just a dude's rock any one, ladies dude, exactly. any of my friends that wanted to fuck yeah. <laughs> doors open i might die of covid or <laughs> pussy overdose your choice i'm single and i'm pot ladies <laughs> <laughs> I got the antibodies. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm so sad about it. Um, um, but he wants to cheer me up with but like, sex. So, so I was also like, yeah, I'll like tell people when I see them. And then right. I forgot. I was like, oh, I don't really see anybody. So yeah. I would do, I did like a couple outdoor shows. And I remember talking to Natalie McGill, who's great. Uh, we were just like catching up. And uh, there was like kind of a lull. And I was like, yeah. And Karen and I broke up. She's like, oh, thank I wanted to ask you, but I didn't know if it was weird. It was like right. people heard I had like cancer or something. I'm like, <laughs> you can ask me about it. I don't mind. Like, I heard a rumor that it broke. I'm like, dude, it's because they're like, how are you? I'm like, great. Because yeah. it could have been way fucking worse. Yeah, definitely. It's yeah, I think I think you even just like popped in the Coward Hour East Coast chat one day. You're like, boys, I'm not getting married anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Like, you just yeah. put it forward. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I wanted to tell some people because it just got to the point where some people didn't know or they'd be like, well, how's Karen? I'm like, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope. <laughs> so, and then they're like, oh, what happened? So that's why I wanted to put out like, it's like putting out a press release where it's like, right. things at Caderna Industries have yeah. changed, but we're better than ever you know <laughs> <laughs> under new management yeah <laughs> going oh. through a transition phase right now exactly. we're restructuring exactly, exactly. People <laughs> we had to cut the whole hr department <laughs> <laughs> slim down we're a sleeker quicker caderna <laughs> people who do like but people who do like i, I it, it's tough man because like i like what you're talking about with like feeling like you need to make a post on social media yeah that's it's so it's weird that that's become an impulse in general. I don't use Facebook anymore. Yeah, if I do. I, I you I'll like post like once every six months, and it's weird yeah. that like it's almost like that you like feel an obligation of like fuck. I should probably post that my life has changed. Explain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, because it's kind of like your own personal like photo album or journal, mm -hmm. but also like yeah, it has gotten to a point where it's like you don't want to use it like that because people will either. You won't get the responses out of it that you were looking for, like the likes or the comments. Mm -hmm. Or people will be like, oh, you're fucking, why are you sharing this? This is too much. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Get the fuck out of Those here. I've seen way worst. too many overshares where I'm like, I don't even want to tell people it's my birthday today. <laughs> like, <laughs> But crazier than those two is the what happens overwhelmingly to a lot of people is just like straight indifference. And they're still posting ev like everything oh. that happens to them. Like, it, yeah. like it's, I don't know, a bunch of like the, the, the pandemic has made like social media use in my family like way worse. Oh yeah, it's, <laughs> and it's gotten fucking weird. And like, like you know, like my grand my grandparents are picking up like lingo, like they're like they're abbreviating though to tho, which I know is a Hell small thing, yeah. but it's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah, your grandpa's like COVID's not real though. <laughs> tho, <laughs> <laughs> shit's a hoax though. For real, for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake fr. Biden's cap. One hundred. Biden, no cap. <laughs> He a bitch. Look yeah. like a bitch. Yeah, look like <laughs> my granddad is like, oh, my granddad is like, damn, Trump is on his RNS right now. Dude. <laughs> Grandpa, <laughs> come on. <clears throat> but oh, yeah, anyway, shit. I don't know. What, I don't know what point I was getting towards. But oh, just, you saying like that is just like it, I, I've been getting <clears throat> so freaked out by like. Especially the fact that like it, it's really become clear that like social media is not going away. Like, oh, like, yeah. it's, it's getting worse. It's there. getting worse. Yeah, like I didn't feel. I just wanted to do it just to let people know. But then I was like, yeah, you don't be that messy bitch. That's yeah, like, and I wouldn't have like <laughs> well, thrown her under the bus. But you could have just gone to TikTok, I guess, I if guess. you want. <laughs> <laughs> just do a fun little dance. I mean, you just have to think about like how would I have done like, taking the ring <laughs> off, throwing it away. <laughs> Three things about me during COVID. <laughs> yeah, Engagement's <pointing>. off. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, fuck. You should have done one of those sad cop TikToks. 
<laughs> Dude, those are the best. They're the best, dude. The Come on, lady, go. One, the one where he's like, you've cheated on me four times. <laughs> 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 and he's in his cruiser with like a blackjack. Is that, is that where he takes the ring yes, off? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that guy, oh, my God, dude. That guy's a fucking legend. That guy's uh, awesome. Yeah. Like speaking of your peers, How come cops don't it, get fired for TikToks. Right, like like Target it, employees get fired, Burger King yeah. employees, but fucking nurses and, and cops are and allowed to do them all day long. Made fun of so hard that he kills himself when he gets back to the station. Well, fucking better, just, yeah, he they better, just, yeah. No. Like Carl, what was that shit on TikTok? <laughs> Carl, you know your wife you? cheated on you. Four times. Why would you tell everyone? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's weird, dude? White trash people have really leaned into like embracing like. Mm-hmm. Like TikTok, good vibes. Oh uh, yeah. Shit. Like it's we- no, they really are, dude. Like they're I bizarre. They're oddly sensitive. Like hmm. just like, yeah. the, the shit that they are. You, are you, you follow me here? Like yeah, I don't know how no, to like the cringe it. TikTok videos where it's all like middle of the country people. Yeah, like like, like a lot talking of about their love have, lives have, or like they've got big like live laugh love energy. <laughs> yeah. Does that well, make I think sense? it's it's like a it's like a thing where I think they just don't know how to like. <laughs> uh get in touch with their emotions unless so they're they like too far yeah so like, like, fuck, I, gotta, I have to lip sync to panic they like and disco <laughs> over share by accident because God. they can't just be like i'm really going through a lot right now right. like they're like no, i have to do like, an interpret yeah. dance in my cruiser <laughs> yeah. i don't know how I else to, to rat out my wife for fucking <laughs> like 40 men <laughs> Picture the the like cop blue line flag, but it just says "Live, Laugh, Love" on it. <laughs> I defend the "Live, Laugh, Love" line every day out there, man. Dude, I saw the scariest thing. Like, I've seen cops drive around in their civilian vehicles where like they have like the the shield or like the the fraternal brotherhood of police. Oh yeah, yeah, and, like, yeah. The Punisher sticker next to it. <laughs> oh it god, like, that's yeah. never good. But when I was in line to get COVID tested, there was a dude with a fraternal brotherhood shield mm-hmm. and then a Deadpool sticker next to it. Oh, like, oh. Like, get this guy off the streets. <laughs> 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 this guy is. Tw- He's unpredictable. He's <laughs> <a menace. laughs> this, guy's, this guy's shooting black kids and then breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, it's uh, turning 100%. the camera. He yeah. turns to his own body camera. Wow. <laughs> Guess they should have ducked. You might like, be wondering what? how I got here. <laughs> Diane cheated on me four times. <laughs> <laughs> With a black guy. <laughs> Dude, how pissed are the guys that got like Superman tattoos though in like the late 90s, early 2000s? Because it used to be the Superman symbol. Right now, it's the Punisher. Right, there was like a yeah. weird delineation at some point. Yeah, and that Superman's yeah. kind of bitch made compared to the Punisher. Well, it's right? kind of weird. Like Superman used to be like above all else, like be a yeah. good person, save as many people right. as you can. But Punisher is like. No one's there for you anymore. You're a lone wolf. Murder everyone Murder indiscriminately. <laughs> like, Why? Can't, can't escape consequences. No second chances. All right, mm. that's the cops' credo. <laughs> Live, laugh, love. No second chances. Unless no you're my wife. Chances. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> and then I'll give you four chances. Your, your slut wife got murdered on an island by mercenaries. <laughs> now you have to kill every black woman and man in the city. <laughs> the Punisher. The Punisher. <laughs> yeah, dude. <sighs> All that to say, 2020, pretty good. <laughs> pretty it's been kind good. of fun, right? Hey, I 2021, got, I, looking forward to looking it. Forward. No, I got lucky, dude. I was able to work from home, like work that shit out, yeah. saving money. With fucking my dad and I put an island in my kitchen. Things are good. Oh, my God. Dude. Things are nice. Single man with an island? Oh, yeah, you know? Anything there you go. Happen. That's right. The world is your oyster, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've seen. Yeah, you could probably fuck someone on that island, I bet. Ew. Eric, you want me to fuck you on that island? <laughs> Sounds like what you're hinting at. I'm just saying, there might be a skunk walking around <laughs> there later tonight if you oh, catch really? my drift. <laughs> oh, Eric's just painting just a white stripe <laughs> on himself. <laughs> Whoops. Just getting the dirt from the bucket, <laughs> rubbing it all over, painting a white stripe. Oh, hey, Josh. <laughs> I didn't see you there in your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on the corner of your your patio, just chomping on a potato. Like, yes, oh, hey, dude. What's up? Eating like, my... Eating my garbage. <laughs> I'm, prote- I'm in my Gungan shield, dude. I mean, we don't need a condom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh fuck, yeah. Dude. Damn. That's, I got to come over and see that island sometime. Absolutely. You got to make me some food on that island, dude. Have you I, been cooking I, in the pandemic? Oh, yeah. Oh, you got to cook. Yeah, I was cooking before cook. that, though. You yeah. got you to gotta cook. But gotta I feel like you probably go crazy. You probably like go wild in the pandemic cooking. I I didn't go too wild. I wasn't one of those people that's like, I make bread now or whatever. Right. It yeah, was just, fuck the, that. you know, standard stuff, lots of pastas, uh, eating some Beyond Burgers. Kind of Ooh. been, on, I'm been plant-based uh-huh. lately, too. Have, have you been going vegan? Pla- I've been going vegan mostly, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's been good. 
Okay. Uh, I do I do the uh, Beyond Burger. I got a little uh, vegan mayo, uh, ketchup, mix that up. Throw some white onion and pickle in there. Mix Ooh. that up. Put that on the burger. It's kind of it. It's like as close as you can get to like a uh, like Shake Shack burger. Okay. Yeah. I gotta say it's pretty good. There, there's a place in LA, Monty's, that's like 100 percent plant based. Yeah. It's like the best burger in Los Angeles. Like the vegan is all of it's fucking awesome. Yeah. It's yeah. I don't think you would be able to tell honestly. Yeah. Nice. Honestly, like, like that guy that defends was like, it's just as good, if not better. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't even know. Um, I like the vegan guys that are like, yeah, I just fucking eat chips and pretzels oh, yeah. all day. It's yeah, no big exactly. deal. Yeah, I'll just go to Seven Eleven and get gummies like crazy. <laughs> that was me. That was me in high school. I was just like, yeah, I can be vegan. I'll just have bread and Oreos every day for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and it got you so much pussy. It got me so much pussy. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. Yo, straight up, is pussy vegan though? Am I allowed to eat? That? Sorry, I actually can't eat your pussy. I'm vegan. <laughs> Sorry, babe. <laughs> yeah, it's actually animal cruelty. Oh, fuck. so, so yeah, you know. Eric, how's your 2020s good? 2020 was good. I, uh, this you is know, like a recap. Episode I was out of, of work year. for a while. Yeah. Uh huh. But that was, it wasn't crazy because like I was getting, I was saving more money with my unemployment than I would normally with like yeah, regular same. paychecks. I knew a few people like Just that. because like I couldn't go out and I like yeah. stopped complete, I stopped ordering shit. I stopped like yeah. everything. Yeah. I and didn't then carry out food for like the first couple months because I was dude, like, I don't same. Know I, I was terrified. Do. Yeah. We were getting like groceries delivered and shit. I, I went to go get groceries, but I'd like either let them sit in my car for a couple of days or mm. like I'd come bring them in and like wipe them down. Oh, yeah. We did like, that too. And if I, I went think, somewhere, I like took my clothes off, dude, washed them, yeah. showered and shit. Dude, I'd Karen's, shower when I got Karen's home. type 1 diabetic. So she I went everywhere shit. with gloves yeah. on, dude. Yeah. Josh, I was a maniac. Yeah. You had an out, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't go full Pat Oswald. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you just needed Oswald out a little bit, dude. <laughs> Whoops! Just while she's sleeping. I was so excited about getting married. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want any? Uh, at, her, at her Zoom funeral, like it could have happened to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a soda, babe? <laughs> babe, babe, you want a soda or candy <laughs> or <Yeah>, anything? <laughs> Uh, nothing. Oh, you sh- yeah, dude. You needed to do the full friend of your show, Pat Oswald. <laughs> full close friend of mine. <laughs> close friend of the show, Pat Oswald. <laughs> Pat Oswald with the pro strat: how to get out of your, <laughs> how to upgrade your wife into an easy step. <laughs> Welcome to my masterclass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I'm so fucking glad I did this with you. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> you, you keep telling oh, I don't even. I forget. I that um, was my story. I'm like, so I killed her. How was your 2020? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everything's great. Yeah. <laughs> everything's been great, you know? Yeah. I have her parents' phone number. I had to get out. <laughs> they wanted to go to Ocean City. <laughs> Hang out. Uh, I was just going to break up with her? No way. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. <laughs> so I gave her go. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway beat the charge is pretty good year and you eric you're doing all right yeah just just chilling i mean i've been building up my apartment as you can see yeah the it's, screen setup is sick I, screen setup so sick fucking tight in here dude i get like yeah. when i walked and i was like this is that you I, I asked you i was like how long are you gonna stay here because like if i had a place like this i'd be like this is where i'm dying <laughs> i'm gonna live here for the next fucking 50 years i mean i'm definitely gonna be here a little bit longer I think eventually, like, me and Liz want to, like, move in together mm-hmm. somewhere. I don't think it could be here. This is, like, too, too small too for small. two people. This is, yeah. this is not a woman's dwelling, dude. Yeah. Oh, not even close. Well, I, she likes it here. Like, she'll hang out over the weekends and shit. And, mm-hmm. like, but, I mean, two people just living here straight up would be too much. a nightmare. Way too much. Because we can barely, like, help each other in the kitchen, like, yeah, the kitchen on the is weekend. Sick. You used to have, like, a mountain of... of Unrecycled cardboard in there. <laughs> I, like, do. You, I don't know if you can get into the fridge. <laughs> no, you, Did you can. See it in there, Josh? No, I didn't oh, even you look. Should, you should I'll, look t- I'll take a look on the way. There's out. yeah. There's a lot of cardboard everywhere. Yeah, Baltimore City shut down the recycling pickups. Yeah, are they gonna do that again? I don't fucking know. It's funny. I'll, <laughs> I have I'll so much separate, cardboard in here. I'll still separate shit in my kitchen. Where I'm like, that's recycling. That's trash. And they're both going in the same thing. <laughs> like, I have a feeling that everything that they phase out during the pandemic, or like everything that changes or gets phased in or out during the pandemic, isn't coming back. 
Put my yeah, in, I believe I just that. Wanted to get that bucket. Get in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> like I have a feeling that a lot of like like a lot of like pandemic protocol is just gonna stay. So like, yeah, I like the sanitizer at the door of places. I like that yeah. too. I like hitting that on the way in, hitting it on the way out. I like I'm that. also like, why don't we always do this at the grocery store? Also, I like uh, at Wegmans. I'll go to Wegmans and treat myself every once in a while. Mm-hmm. But the, they have a thing Some where it's wiggies. like. Their carts on the inside of the building, mm-hmm. they have a sign over them that, like, these are pre sanitized carts. Yes. Like, we've cleaned these yeah. for you. No worries. Yep. I love that. That's like a budget. weight off my shoulders. Mom's yes. Organic Market does the same thing, Eric. And okay. I love it. You guys sound like a bunch of fucking communists. <laughs> a bunch of red communists, dude. Like, you like taking your shoes off at the airport, too? No, no I, I hate that. It. No, I've hated that during COVID. It's it sucks. True, that's true. Because it's like, all right, you're making me take my. I, I'm walking around in socks on this COVID floor. Dude, when I flew here from LAX last week, it was I've never had such a relaxed TSA experience. Mm-hmm. They were like, you don't even have to take your computer out of your bag. Just put it in there. They didn't pat me down. They're like, just go on through. And they wow. did that for, I watched them do that for like 20 people. I was like, damn, I guess one of these planes is definitely going to go down. That's like, crazy. It's, it's way too easy to get shit through this TSA line. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, flying surprisingly... I had to fly twice in like the last month. Um, once to like Tennessee, once to Atlanta. Oh yeah, Damn. You had to Tennessee Magic wasn't City bad. On a Monday. Yeah, Magic City on a Monday, baby. Um, just did a drive by. Didn't go inside. <laughs> it was honestly fucking packed. I was scared. I was really? like, why are strip clubs open down here? This is like Got to. not the place it should be Do open. They strip with masks on. Probably. What do you think? No, I think they <laughs> no. do. Right? I swear to God, I saw stories about that. I'm bet- sure that there are places that aren't. Yeah. But, yeah. but I'd say, what a funny visual. Well, yeah, cause, just cause a mask even- on the face and the pussy. <laughs> Some like, anti-COVID person, that's the sexiest part, is when she takes the mask off. It's yeah. like, yeah, fuck those. We Damn, don't need dude. them. She takes off an N95, and there's just like a regular fucking doctor's mask underneath <laughs> of it. Uh, just the spl- run-of-the-mill blue mask. Oh, oh my God. God. That's mask burlesque, dude. That's, that's <laughs> slut. Yeah, it has a tassel spinning. It's fucking <laughs> slut. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, everything in LA has like, been like shut down, shut down. But yeah. I was in Cherry Hill yesterday. And you'd never even know there was a fucking... I, I went to Benihana. Like, you'd that's never know fucking, there was a pandemic. That's how Atlanta was. It was scary. Like, yeah. people just didn't give a fuck in Atlanta. Like, me and Joey were walking around a town, like a small little town, not even, like, downtown Atlanta. It was called Covington. They they shoot a lot of shit there. Like, I think they shot Vampire Diaries there. Oh, nice. mm. They were just straight up, like, tours of tweens going around taking pictures of everything, no masks. We were like one of the ten people in the town with masks. That's why. Yeah, and you get you get when I was in, I was we'd in, get looks like they'd look at us like, "Why the f- you fucking loser?" Yeah, I, I think I, you're I was, gonna get sick here. Yeah, I went into uh, when I was in Michigan with my girlfriend for like two weeks. Um, before, this is just one of my many travels, <laughs> <laughs> one of my many excursions during the pandemic, and we were in Caseville, Michigan, where like everybody everybody was mad. This was pre kidnapping plot but like there were nothing <laughs> there were nothing but signs of like how the Gretsch stole business like, oh my these, god all these really inventive ways of denigrating uh, Gretchen Whitmer or whatever <laughs> yeah and so and they were supposed to be like Michigan was supposed to have like strict lockdown protocol but we were in the middle of nowhere and so we went into this diner mm-hmm. not a single person was wearing not only was nobody wearing a mask <gasps> packed to the gills like yeah. standing room only people just like spilling fucking hot dogs on the floor and shit. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah it's wild what people risk it for yeah. like going to like Burger King like eating indoors there like yeah. what are you doing yeah. why like yeah, yeah like a it. diner like what we got yeah we got our and i guess it might be weird like it was a weird thing to get used to here i'll give everyone that like that you have to walk in with a mask but the one you get to the table you get to take it off what is that what right yeah but then like in georgia i was walking into places and i'd see people coming out with no mask on i'd be like you fucking savage like Mm -hmm. you're gonna get me sick like yeah yeah Yeah. it was scary man that was the first thing in Tennessee too. When we got off the plane from Baltimore to Tennessee, yeah, came Tennessee's off the ramp right, right, right into now. the airport. Like the first thing we saw was just two. It looked like fucking like Kid Rock's parents. Hell yeah, yes. just Hell walking yes. towards the gate we were coming off of, no masks. Mm-hmm. Like, and they're in the airport. Yeah. Like, dude, yeah, it's, it's insane. Just, there's some states where there's no mask mandate it at all. Like, I think that's like Tennessee. They're like, yeah, I mean, you don't have to yeah, if you want yeah. to. If you're but it's like you this is an international yeah. airport, and there's no enforcement of a mask rule here. <laughs> like, well, states' rights, fuck? baby. Yeah, there was there was there was no action from the federal government whatsoever. I think, right? It was oh, yeah, I don't think so. Left up to states' governments. Yep. 
Um, which is, which, uh, look, I can't, to me it sounds bad, but like I said, we're not going to know how the Trump presidency plays out until probably the next, till after it's uh, over, until, you know he's, until he's yeah, done. Yeah, you mean like what, another 20, four years? Yeah, I was going to say, what, 2036? 20, <laughs> yeah, 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 about that, yeah. 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 <laughs> and we're counting like the Ivanka, and because after Trump, you know, Big Daddy Trump leaves, sure. he's bringing in the kids. I don't think so, because... And I've, I, I'm going to, I know you're joking, but yeah, let me I'm just a, joking. I'm a serious Because <laughs> I, th- I don't think, five minutes go by. I don't, I don't think, I think that, I think that whatever Trump has that people like about him, like his, he, all his kids are missing the Trump career. They do not have oh, for Don sure. Jr. is such a fucking dork. Dude. None of he them sucks. were self made like Trump. None of them yeah. had to do the yeah. come up. <laughs> you're right. They yeah. didn't have the grit. Nope. <laughs> nope. No, dude, none of them can do... None, I don't know if you saw... I mean, Don Jr. was trying to run an hour, kind of like Trump's been doing nonstop. Hardest working comic. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Through the whole pandemic, he's been doing... He's yeah, been he's doing the only working sets. comic right now. Yeah. He's th- maybe the greatest comic since, I don't know, Dave Chappelle. If after he gets out of office, like, because obviously before he was president, like, you know, they threw him on SNL whenever he wanted. He could do whatever the fuck he wanted and he crushed. He had a, his own roast, all that shit. Mm-hmm. After he's done being a president, how long before Netflix brings him like the hundred million dollar deal for a special if he doesn't run again eight years double cycle i don't know i mean he's old but but I, if he would <laughs> he's I'm just gonna be like really bill cosby <laughs> <laughs> he's completely he's blind yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out <laughs> <laughs> special just called folks it's really true folks it's really true folks. folks i think he's gonna try i think he's gonna run again in 2024 i think that yeah. a lot of the, if i'm be, if i'm being genuine as much as i am for the two thousand dollar checks i think that a lot of these like um these what do you call them a lot of the moves that he's making now at the end of his presidency are so that he like remains a popular figure in people's minds. Yeah, I think True. he just always wants to be liked too by them. I know. You know what's crazy? Which really humanizes him for me. <laughs> it really yeah, does, like, but it it, it well, is. Well, he's like he's trying nice to like not let the country go to bed angry. Well, it's you know what he he's doing? like, baby, we got to figure this out before. <laughs> well, I don't want you waking up with a new man tomorrow. You don't go to bed fighting. <laughs> yeah, it's a rule, it's in, a rule house, in this house. In the White House. Did you see? He tweeted. He tweeted something I think is. Really is true he tweeted a couple of days ago he goes i'm just trying to stop the world from killing itself I was, like, <laughs> I was like who can argue with that that's amazing he's like can't you let me do that please <laughs> i'm trying to fucking help you <laughs> come on <laughs> now i think he's gonna want to tour still because i think he, he loves, never stops he loves he that loves mo- i mean even like post presidency mm-hmm. i think he's gonna do that no matter what yeah josh it's called campaigning yeah, right. Mm-hmm. But I don't think he likes being. It, it's so weird. I, I think th- he likes the title, but he doesn't like the job. <sighs> yeah, but he's gotten away with not. He's gotten away with not doing it. I do think he likes it. I do think he likes being. I. It's hard. I, it's hard, man. If I can't. It's hard to suss out Trump's intentions. It's weird. <laughs> I don't. I actually don't hate him as much as I hate like Mitch McConnell. You know what I mean? Like, oh, he's, right, right. He's right. not yeah. like to me. I still don't have the ire for him that I do for like the traditional GOP. Oh well, yeah, because yeah, I mean, he I hasn't he... spent like thirty years just literally ruining the country. Yeah, he somehow avoided just boring. only for four years. Only four. Yeah. <laughs> only... <laughs> yeah, he's also like ruin the country. I'll ruin the fucking world. Okay. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I just want Trump to like model his life after Gordon Ramsay and do like kitchen nightmares for businesses. <laughs> yes, dude. But you know how like Gordon Ramsay do, like does dress up now? <laughs> like yeah, he'll yeah, dress yeah. up as like old women. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, we need a Trump season of bar rescue for sure. Yeah. Oh, or like that'd how be beautiful. When O. J. Simpson tried to do a punk and it was called Juiced. <laughs> yes. It was just a video. It wasn't even on TV. Trumped. Oh yeah, yeah. Trump. You got Trump. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, no, it's, all the time. it's like it's just me and old lady. <laughs> <laughs> it was Donald Trump the whole time. Kidding. Kidding. I don't like to wear drag unless I dropped prank. my purse. Can you help pick it up? <laughs> yeah, kidding. Can you help pick my purse. Just I, kidding. Kidding. <laughs> I'm here to rob. I'm this. very spry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to rob this bank. Kidding. I'm not a bank robber. Very rich. Don't need the money. Actually, it's all my money it's in there anyway. It wouldn't be dropped. a robbery. It'd just be a transfer. You see that? That's a camera. That's a camera. <laughs> <laughs> you got Trump. I would, dude. I would buy every fucking VHS of Trump. <laughs> so obviously him every. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat>
<laughs> just oh, awkward, just looking around. Yeah, thing. exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know why I pulled you over? Kidding, I'm Trump. No, I'm <laughs> he does <Kidding. laughs> It's me, Officer Donald Trump. I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, David Trump. <laughs> and and before I even say this, look in that camera That's real camera. quick. You got Trump. Just check it out. <laughs> I want to see the look on your the face. Look on your so look over to that camera. <laughs> Guess <laughs> what? It's me. <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> the OJ thing was truly wild. Because, like, he did, uh, I think he tried to trade, like, one of the bits was he tried to trade in a Bronco that had, like, bullet holes in it and, Fuck like, yeah. blood. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> the the it. Take it to, like, Pawn Stars. Like, yeah, the dealer's like, no. And he's like, ah, I'm kidding. It's me, OJ. He's like, I know. <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, you got juiced. This like, is what? illegal, sir. Yeah, what are you doing? OJ's kind of, I see, OJ's another dude where I'm like, he's the man. Yeah. <laughs> Just, do you watch his Twitter video? Oh, I used to. Yeah. Hey, Twitter like, world. Hello, Twitter world. <laughs> Dude, I, Just I, on a golf course. It's, yeah. <laughs> I loved, and he was like, "Who, Joe Biden?" Like, it's it's so funny that OJ is like an outspoken Democrat too. He's like, <laughs> he's like a liberal. <laughs> we gotta get out there and kill it. I mean, you gotta vote <laughs> for Joe Biden. <laughs> oh fuck me. Yeah, I love I love OJ. Yeah. All these likable bad boys. Dude, how much time have we been doing? Uh, hour ten. Wow, do you okay. guys want to you want to try to round it to it? Do you have to be anywhere? Uh, I do. I got to do oh. something at two. What time is it right now? Uh, one fifty. Oh fuck yeah! Let's oh, bounce out, okay. dude. I'm sorry about yeah, that. Oh, all good. Up. All good. Thank you, guys. Oh, plug both your podcasts, please. Oh, uh, the digression sessions and yeah. live from the studio. Both yeah. fucking awesome podcast. Digression sessions, awesome. Maybe I'll do live from the studio while I'm here. Yeah. How um, long are you here? Uh, function till basically till the twenty eighth. After the twenty eighth, uh, I'm gonna be with Bay, so it'll be hard to do a podcast. Okay. Um, yeah, we can Bay. maybe do it early next week. Yeah, just hit me if up. that works. And uh, Josh didn't even offer to have me on digression session, so. <laughs> well, we do it like via Zoom now, so. Mm, yeah, yeah. I, actually, I, I've never used Zoom. I don't have a computer, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know how to do that. So it's fine. <laughs> oh boy, where's the time? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, both you guys. I didn't can even want. In. I didn't even want. To I don't even want to do it. Yeah, I, I don't like your podcast. But everybody <laughs> should listen to it. Me either. Let me tell you. No, it is. It's a really fucking. Both <laughs> you guys have a really fucking funny podcast. All right, I'm sorry. Thank you. You have to get out of here. Yeah, no. Keeping you. No, no rush. This was a blast. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know we were doing two. What? what did you say you wanted to do two or do another one? Uh, I, I meant like an hour if you want to do like a long episode. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. no, sorry, I got a roll. Sorry, that's all good, dude. Sorry, uh, I do. You know what's funny? I do still have to get one in the can for next week. I don't know if I'll do that with Barn Dog or maybe I'll hit one of you guys up or both of you. Word. Yeah, if you're around, I'm down. Yeah, yeah. just let all us right, know. Great. I'll stop making plans on Mike now. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Bye.